Hey guys, welcome back to my channel today. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my Sephora VIB sale haul with my online purchases. My box finally came, it was delayed about a day, so I'm super excited to finally share with you guys what I picked up online. This video is also super exciting because I am also collabing with my friend Leah Janae. Leah also did a haul on her channel, so don't forget to check it out. But she does a lot of great videos over on her channel. She is the queen of TJ Maxx. I feel like she finds everything at that store for reduced prices. It's crazy. She also does some great reviews over on her channel as well. And she's just a sweet, down to earth, really nice person. So don't forget to check out her video and her channel after this one and go give her some love and subscribe. I know you will love her content. And without further ado, let's get on to my VIB sale online purchases haul. The first two items are actually repurchases. This is something I always get at the VIB sale because these are my shampoo and conditioner that I always use. These are the big like 750 milliliter bottles of this stuff. This is from Living Proof. I do use the Restore line both in the shampoo and in the conditioner. So this is really nice, you guys. My hair is color treated, so I like using very hydrating products. This is something that does that, absolutely. And this huge like 710 milliliter like pump bottles are only available online, which is why I stock on those like crazy. These retail for 77 Canadian each, which is why 20% off goes a long way. So love these. These last me a long time, but I always stock up on them during the sale. That is all for the hair care part of this haul. Next, I will talk about skincare. The first thing is from Farsali. This is the Rose Gold Skin Mist. So a lot of you guys actually had some mixed feelings about this one. Some of you guys told me this wasn't worth it and some of you guys said that it was. So I am excited to test this out and let you guys know what I think. This is what the bottle looks like, you guys. It is so gorgeous. This reminds me of the Guerlain uh, Gold Primer a little bit in that of how it looks, not so much the consistency because the primer is like a gel but this one is a fluid but it still kind of reminds me of that at first glance that's exactly what I think of this I wonder if it smells like anything I don't smell anything right off the top like there's nothing that's like overtly potent right there maybe when you spray it but I'm so excited to try this one out as well I hope that this gives my skin some glow and some luminosity because I'm all about that the next three items are all from Fresh. This one is the Deep Hydration Mask. This is item number one from the brand. And this is so pretty, you guys. The packaging is gorgeous, very simplistic. So this is what the packaging looks like on this one. It is actually surprisingly heavy, you guys. I really couldn't believe it. But this one also is a really cool like two-step mask. I wonder if I can show you. So this is kind of how it's divided. It's divided in half with step one and step two marked actually. This mask is supposed to deeply hydrate the skin. It is, it says it's replenishing, locks in hydration, and it is a sleeping mask. It is so, so nice smelling. It's not synthetic, it's really natural smelling. So I'm really excited to try this one out. Next, I picked up one of their shower gels. This is also from Fresh, and this is the Sugar Lemon Bath and Shower Gel. This one says it has sugar and mango seed oil in it, and this is actually something that is supposed to gently cleanse the skin in the shower. So right now, I am using my Lush um, shower gels. I do have one called Cinder, I believe. It's from Christmas. Very cinnamony, kind of pumpkin smelling with some maple in it. It's really nice and rich, but this is one that is much more citrusy and sweet so I'm excited to try this one because my cinder stuff is running out the last thing from fresh that I picked up is actually one of their new hydrating lip balms this one is the fresh sugar hydrating peach lip balm this is what it looks like here so it's a gorgeous little lip balm this is actually fairly thin in real life you guys can see that there I thought it was gonna be a bit of a thicker pot but I was mistaken <laughs> so oh my gosh this is so nice this is what it looks like inside. This is actually really true to color as well. It's a gorgeous like light peach color. Smells gorgeously like peach. I will definitely keep you posted on this if it's worth the price tag or not. But this is supposed to just keep your lips nice and hydrated and nourished throughout the day. I do prefer, to be honest, some stick lip balms versus the tubs just because I don't always like to stick my finger into the product. 
but I do think this is worth checking out because it smells so nice, it has some great reviews, so I'll definitely keep you posted on it. Next, I picked up something that was actually kind of funny. Um, I picked this up because of a subscriber that told me about this. That was the first thing. And the second thing was that I also was watching the Vogue episode with Kourtney Kardashian. She was talking about clean skincare, clean makeup, and what she uses. And she has some really good skin. I mean, I do think it's probably assisted with some plastic surgery of some kind or fillers or whatnot. But I really wanted to try some of her products that she recommended. This is one of them. This is from Caudalie, and this is the Beauty Elixir. This one smells like a spa in a bottle, and that's exactly what one of you guys said in the comments. So that is kind of why I sealed the deal with this one, because not only does Kourtney Kardashian like it, I guess, according to the video, but one of you guys does too, so that's like extra proof that this actually might really work for me. So I'm super excited. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what this is. It's definitely spa-like. A slight hint of a citrus, kind of like a bit of a minty, like it's it's really nice. It's very pleasant. So I do like that. I really haven't tried much from this brand, if I'm honest. The Caudalie stuff is very foreign to me, so I'll definitely let you know. I kind of want to spray this right now because I'm just like, wow, I'm intrigued. Let's see. Oh my word. That is real nice. <laughs> The last skincare product is actually a lip balm that is a stick format. This is from Bite and this is the Agave Lip Balm. This is something that they just reformulated, I believe, because I think I heard about this from both Samantha Ravendahl and Jamie Page. They talked about the new products and how much they liked them, so I thought that was really great that they were able to team up with them and talk about it. It actually kind of looks like when you get a little sample of their lipsticks, <laughs> kind of like their, their Christmas packages when they have like three or four of these in like a little kit for Christmas, but anyways. This is what it looks like here. It is a rounded balm and it's kind of like a yellow color. Smells very much like agave, of course, that kind of makes sense, but I am excited to try this out because they were raving about it as a great option to keep your lips moisturized as well. So not only will I have this guy to try out, but I'll also try out this fresh lip balm for you and I'll let you know if there's any difference between them, like if one is better than the other for sure. Next, let's talk about Tom Ford. So a couple of you guys actually commented on my first haul with the in-store products and you said, hey, where's the Tom Ford stuff? <laughs> Which is kind of funny. It's almost like I think you guys assume that maybe I passed on the items, but I did not. I definitely ordered three items from his line. I'm so excited. They just don't have Tom Ford in my store. So the first item is from the Soleil collection. This is the Sheer Cheek Duo in the shade... Lizum, I think. Liz Sum. Oh my gosh. This is what it looks like. This was on my wanted list or my wish list. Those two match so well with my sweater, <laughs> my lip color, like everything is just screaming gorgeous pinks. This looks gorgeous in person. The compact is stunning. It's the classic like Tom Ford Soleil compact. Here we have the two blushes there. We have the top one on the left, the bottom one on the right. Those are about two to three layers built up. So this is one that's going to be much more of a sheen and a sheer kind of like glow to the cheeks. So it is going to have to be potentially built up on the cheeks if you want to have more of that color pigment payoff. But I do like how they feel. They do feel really creamy when I applied them to the hand. So I am super excited. I'll definitely let you guys know what I think of this. The next item from Tom Ford is also from the Soleil collection. This is the Glow Bronzer. This is also one that I was so excited to try, you guys. The shade I picked up is number two, Terra. And this is one that they had two sizes of. They had the large size and they had the mini size. So I actually went for the mini because it was a little bit more like affordable. <laughs> it's Tom Ford, so it's obviously not affordable, but it was much more affordable than the large size. As soon as I ordered the mini, I was like, shoot, I hope that my favorite bronzer brush can fit. That is kind of my only worry, but I think it will just do, I think it'll fit perfectly. So that's awesome just from looking at it. So there, I wonder if you can see that. Okay. So can you guys see that? It does have a little bit more of kind of pulls like a red undertone just a bit but it doesn't look fake it just looks really nice and natural 
So that is about two to three layers as well. So these products I'm going to assume are going to be very like sheer, glowy, built up a little bit. I think that's kind of the whole point of this line. I'm actually really excited to give these guys a go and I'll definitely keep you posted on my thoughts. Now let's talk about the quad that I had my eye on since I made, well, this has been months and months ago now, but I included it in my wish list as well. And this is the Tom Ford Eye Color Quad in the shade Honeymoon. This little baby has been on my wish list for at least a year. I don't know why I've kind of held off. I think it's because it is so pricey, but finally I was able to pick it up and it's got the classic quad packaging. This is what, okay, I'm gonna dump the brushes out because I hate the little brushes that they come with. Ugh, I don't know if I'm the only one, but what a waste. <laughs> I don't use them and I'd rather have the quads, like the actual pans be a little bit bigger, but this is Honeymoon. Stunning. Love this. this is exactly what I thought it was. I was actually really worried because on Sephora, sometimes their images don't match or like the shades don't really match what they actually are in real life, but this one is pretty close. All right, so here they are, you guys. This looks so pretty. These definitely have that same kind of like nude dip quality where they've got like that glowiness to them. They're so creamy. They seem to blend out on my hand with the swatches really well. And the pigmentation is definitely there. So I just think the colors in here are so stunning. I mean, they look much more sultry compared to the nude dip one, which looks a lot more everyday kind of colors. This is one that just looks like you're basically on your honeymoon. Kind of makes sense. <laughs> Moving right along, I do have one highlight to show you guys, and this is another one of Kourtney Kardashian's favorites, apparently. <laughs> so I kind of got sucked in majorly with that video. This is actually from RMS Beauty, which is a brand that I have not tried, I don't think, anything of. So this is the Champagne Rosé Luminizer Highlighter from RMS Beauty. This is so small, you guys. I thought this was a joke. <laughs> I was like... Is this really the highlight? Is this full size? Did something happen? I don't know, but this looks like a sample to me. So I'm really hoping I'm not disappointed. Now I thought this was a highlight. Maybe it's for the eyes. I have no idea. This looks really small. It almost looks like an eye topper you would get from Natasha Denona or like Tom Ford or Tarte, like those chrome pots, like those tiny little things for eye color. That's almost what it looks like. It looks almost too small to be a cheek luminizer, but maybe it can be used for both. I'm not sure. Let me know down below. What do you know about this product? Because I definitely need some guidance, but this looks really pretty. I mean, in the pan, it looks super nice almost kind of looks like a MAC paint pot as well, just how the shape of it is. Um, I don't know, it's just really weird. Like the size of it is really throwing me off, but maybe a little goes a long way and it's not too bad. <laughs> I don't know. This is the highlight here. It's actually a little bit difficult to see because it's so natural and like almost completely sheer. It does have some like pigment to it, but it's almost... Like it's close. It's got such a light natural sheen that I'm hoping this is still going to work for me. Nothing too blinding for sure. <laughs> so I'll definitely keep you posted on this because this is intriguing nonetheless. The second item from RMS Beauty is actually this lipstick here. This is also another Courtney fave. This is called Magic Hour and this is their Wild With Desire lipstick. So I really like that this brand is all clean. That is something that... I'm kind of learning more and more about all the time. This is what this bullet looks like. It's so standard, you guys. It's not super flashy when it comes to packaging or anything. And then when you open it up, it's actually a really nice nude. So this is what it looks like here. This color I think is going to look perfect for every day. I'm just gonna swatch this as well. Oh wow, this is really nice and pigmented, you guys. A few swipes and that's it. Check it out. This is a gorgeous color, almost like a brownie nude. It's got a, like a little bit of pink to it, but a little bit of that brown undertone. So that is really awesome. I'm excited to try this because the pigmentation, wow, one, one to two swipes, it's just like right there. So love that. Now let's talk about the last lipstick in this haul. If you guys have seen my wish list, you probably know what it is, but this is from Milk Makeup and this is the shade Cream. This is a formula that I personally recommended in my recommendation video as well because I do have one other shade in this line and that is the shade Deuces. So I was really excited to try this cream shade as well and this is definitely not too light. I was really worried about that. 
Sugar is actually a lot lighter than this, like sugar from Becca. This actually resembles Tulip from Becca a little bit. It does have a little bit of the same kind of idea with like the family of the color, but I love the formula of this. I love how creamy these are. I love how they kind of like glide over the lips and just blur any imperfections that you have. This is a really beautiful formula. So if you haven't checked this out yet, you guys, definitely see if you can order one still because this is stunning. The bullet is stunning. I'm all about this lipstick. We are almost done this haul, but I do have one last thing to kind of tease to you guys before we get to the end. I did purchase one palette I never thought I would, and I'll tell you why afterwards when we get to that. But we do have a couple things just to kind of whiz by in this haul here. The first one is from Beauty Blender. This is the Pretty in Pink Trio. This is also one of the things that was on my wish list because I am so low on Beauty Blenders. I need to replenish them, so that works out perfect. This is a cute little set with three pink Beauty Blenders. And I have decided that once I open up this package, I'm going to put the other two in Ziploc bags to kind of maintain their freshness because these are not individually packaged like the original one is. So this one, the first one's always the best. The second one is always second best. And the third one is usually dried out or kind of stiff. So I don't know what's happening, but this is super pretty. I love the idea of a box set like this. You always save some money when you do buy a few of them at a time. So this is a much needed repurchase. Next, I wanted to try out these new muslin cloths from Eve Lom. So this is a package of muslin cloths. There are three in here, I believe. And this is one that I did get recommended to me actually from an esthetician. She talked about how muslin cloths are really nice to remove like your skincare and things like that compared to a washcloth if you have more sensitive skin. So I did decide to try these out. They're a little bit pricier than your standard washcloth, but I have been finding that after I remove my skincare, like my cleanser and things like that, that my skin gets a little bit red. And I don't know if it's just because I'm exfoliating with that cloth kind of like gently exfoliating, but the like washcloth might be a little bit rough. I'm not sure. I don't seem to go to town. I don't scrub my face or anything, but I figured this was worth a try because apparently these are supposed to be a lot more gentle. So I did get one of these as well. I also stocked up on my Shiseido cotton pads. I always get one of these as well, just like the shampoo and conditioner. I love these um, cotton pads here. I always get one because it's just nice to save some money on them and these are the best ever. They don't fray or they don't shed. They remove eye makeup beautifully and face makeup. I actually use these with my Bioderma micellar water when I remove my makeup at night and they're soft, they're like pillows. I love these. Now let's get on to the last product in this haul. This is one that I told you guys I was going to never purchase. <laughs> never, never purchase because I didn't think I would use it. Now, this was actually something that I said I wasn't going to use before it got announced and then everybody was reviewing it. People were sending me looks with it. It was almost like torture. <laughs> you guys are so funny. Hey, Jenna, look at the look that I got from this palette. You you definitely need it. Ugh. Anyways, so you guys peer pressured me. I absolutely listened because I listened to you guys. And if you guys say something is good, I know that it's good. And I have decided that yes, now that I have made this splurge, I'm going to use it to make it worth my money. This is the Natasha Denona All Neutral Biba Palette. And you guys, I didn't think this was ever going to surface my collection. <laughs> I really didn't. When I saw all of you guys sending me your looks, telling me how much I need it, I caved. Definitely caved and having 20% off, that's not a bad deal either. This is what this palette looks like. Now the reason why I wasn't gonna purchase this was because I do have her mini nude palette. I love that one. And I was worried that those were the shades I was gonna use in this big palette. So it didn't make sense to buy the bigger version. But as I look at this, I'm so excited to try the rest of the colors. These just look so pretty. I love the fact that like my favorite people on YouTube have like recommended this product to you guys and they've tested it. Not only does it have those neutrals in it, but it does have some nice shimmer shades. There are only three in here, which I thought was a little bit interesting. I normally like a little bit more, but I'm excited to try this and let you guys know what I think because 
the grays and like the charcoals are kind of drawing me more than I thought they would. I don't regret this. Thank you so much for constantly pressuring me. I'm super excited and thank you for sending me all of your looks because I'm really excited to recreate them on my eyes. So here are some of these gorgeous shades, you guys. I swatched two of the shimmers out of the three and then there are three mattes in here. So this looks so pretty. I actually think this would be great for fall as well. So <laughs> I'll definitely be pulling this out during the fall, but I do love how this is just like beautiful everyday shades. I will definitely let you know what I think of this and absolutely keep you posted on all of these products. But that is the end of my Sephora VIB sale haul for my online purchases. Definitely check out Leah's channel after this video. Go watch her haul because she did one as well. And until my next video, guys, take care. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys. You and me, everything that we've been through has made us strong. You won't believe we've had our great, but so there's a light inside of us.